Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I ordered a World War II issue Soviet shovel from Apex Gun Parts as part of their Memorial Day sale, and I just got it, so let's take a look. These were listed as good, and were on sale for about half off the regular price. So I thought it'd be a fun little addition to my collection, especially since I have a lot of Soviet stuff already. And let's take a look. It said these come via Finland, so they may have, they should have the SA mark indicating uh, Finnish military or Finnish army, and may have other markings as well. As you can see, it's kind of a goopy mess, but let's take a closer look. Distinctive for the Soviet shovels are all the rivets around. As you can see, there are multiple SA markings on there. And it looks like a manufacturer's mark. Looks like Komhipt. I don't speak Russian. You can kind of see it there. See a larger SA, smaller SA. Big P, little P. The 1935 manufacture date there. You can still see some effect on rivets. Pretty goopy. I think a lot of this will kind of clean off and clean up. The handle is a little loose though. But it is, you know, 89-year-old shovel, so it's not gonna be perfect condition. Definitely sticky, but I'll try cleaning it up and bringing it back in and showing it off again. But, I mean, it is in good shape. Nothing particularly wrong with it. Uh, nothing noticeably bad. The only thing, like I said, the only thing is there's a little wobble here, but it's not terrible. And honestly, it may have always been like that. Those Soviets. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Like I said, I got this for half price of what's showing right now online. Last I checked. So I wouldn't be surprised if they had them on sale again soon for, I don't know, maybe Independence Day, which would be a little counterintuitive since it's Soviet. But you never know. They always do have sales and put things on sale at the website. I've bought a lot of things from them before. So I would not be worried about purchasing from them again all right i did a quick rub down with some oil and it got rid of the rust look on a few bits i had a hard time getting off any actual of this gunk though it's on there pretty good and caked on but you know this is probably more for display purposes more than anything uh as an entrenching tool i don't think i'm going to actually take this out in my yard and do any work on it so i'm not too concerned and you can see the SA mark there, pretty good, both the big and the small one. And this hole here, I should mention, is on purpose. It is to attach the entrenching tool to the Soviet kit. And then you have this uh, Russian word here. I don't speak Russian, like I said, so kind of a mystery. Maybe I'll put something up on there. Then 1935R. So that's all I really had for today. I just wanted to kind of show this off since I had just purchased it and others might be wondering the actual condition of what good is. And this is an example of one, but at least you can see something for yourself on what you could potentially get. On the website it does say, you know, there could be some chips and flakes on the paint, could be some rust and all these other nicks and damages. Obviously these are, you know, I mean, this is from 1935. The others are probably similarly dated. They also said that they could also have uh, double eagle stamps on them. So they could be actually a little bit earlier than Soviet use. I'm not sure that those would actually be stamped on any Soviet equipment, but this is not my area of expertise. That's really all I have for today. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing and show this off. Of course, you can get one yourself if you want to. 
I have no association with Apex Gun Parts. I did purchase this myself, but you can check them out. The Discord is now open to the public, so please join us on there and join in on our conversations. I should be doing a live stream soon for 6,000 subscribers, so if you have any questions you want me to answer on there or anything specific you want me to cover, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.